محمد القدر وما أجراك ما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم كل من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر نزل سير صلى الله صلى الله عليه وسلم على محمد وعلى محمد بس Again, I would like to request you all, Mumini, please recite Surah Al-Mubarak Al-Fatiha and Surah Al-Ikhlas three times for Marhumin, uh, Marhum Muhammad Fayyaz Kanani, Marhum Hussain Panju and family, Marhum Zaheer Yarali Chapsi, and Marhum Aziz Zehra Khwaja, and Digar Marhumins of your family. Brothers and sisters, you know, this is the one of the greatest night amongst all the nights which has been discussed in Islamic Sharia or in Islamic books. Why? Because this is the night in which night our decree from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to be fixed. Is going to be written, and that would continue up to the end of you know next year. So by the next year, what we are going to do in our life? There are so many revayas, no doubt, without any doubt. I'm telling you, and you, if even if anyone has this doubt in his mind, you have to either ask question from ulama. Or you have to remove this that whatever destiny, whatever you know, a decree I'm I'm going to get in my life in one year of this life up to next year of you know Laila Turkal is going, we are going to take in this night. And that's why that is why this night is one of the most important night and most you know uh there are so many nights that have been described since you are listening in these uh, uh, days. Majalis like 19th is also Laylatul Qadr, 22nd night is also Laylatul Qadr, 23rd is also Laylatul Qadr. So, um, and, and 15th Shaban is also one of the, you know, most probably uh, Laylatul Qadr. And 27th of Ramadan, for example. So all these nights, but the most probable, most importantly, 23rd of night, uh, most of the Aima, all of the Aima, they say, most probably this night is uh, the night of Qadr. But even when person came to ask Imam Sadiq Ali Salam that, why don't you not fixing, you know, fix one particular ayah, that, let's say 19th or 21st or 23rd, uh, or 15th of Shaban uh, is the you know Laylatul Qadr. 
So Imam said that, what's wrong with you if you go and do ibadat and you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, and for the, you know, for seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this, in this holy night. So it's better for you rather than you go and fix yourself in one particular night so you can get more salam. That is why today night, tonight is one of the most important and most, uh, you know, uh, authentic, according to most authentic rewaya, that this is the Laylatul Qadr where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the Quran. If you remember in our, uh, you know, discussion, somehow I have discussed this thing that, look, the merit of the holy month of Ramadan is not because of fasting. If you pay attention, I would like to repeat my word again. The merit of holy month of Ramadan is not for uh, your fasting. The merit of the holy month of Ramadan is because of the revelation of Quran. The you know, fasting is one of the uh, one of the you can say major part of this this path of a spirituality where anyone if he and she wants to get a spirituality in his or her life through holy month of Ramadan then the least thing then the minimum thing we need in our life to start our spirituality is to fast to refrain from few wajib you things and few mobile things with few things which is halal on our body but for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I'm not going to use them in order to purify our body and soul our body and soul both and that is why first of uh, all it has been prescribed that ya ladina amanu kutiba alaykum usiyam kama kutiba ala ladina min qablikum la'allakum tattakhun so fasting is just to take taqwa and the main goal is here to dark you know we have to learn understand we get the cognizant of this night of laylatul qadr another thing is very important what is going to be happen in this night you know as i said revelation of quran Tanazzalul malaikatu war ruh fiha bi idni rabbihim min kulli amr the angel the archangel ruhul quds you know the greatest angel and jibril descend in it by the permission of their lord for every affair fiha min kulli amr who is Amr, who is command, who is affair? Okay, here there is a discussion is maybe a bit dry for you, but it is because uh, related to, you know, philosophy uh, and, and related to, uh, you know, the, li uh, the part of our unseen life or, you know, spirituality, not non-materialistic. If you, if we focus on the, this saying, that this Quran, this Holy Quran, is the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the biggest miracle of Holy Prophet in our hands. But this Quran, which we have, this Quran is really, this Quran is the same degree it has in Lawhe Mahfuz. We have, does anyone can say, this is the same Quran with the same degree, I'm, I'm talking with the same degree, with the same greatness, with the same highness. It is in Lohe Mahfuz we have? No. And that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used the word Inzal Nuzul, Tanazzalul. Nuzul means what? Inna anzallahu fi laylatil qadr. I have revealed this Quran in the night of Qadr. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that I have revealed, whenever we use, we hear the word revelation, our mind, our 
intellect goes to something coming from up to down or something some you know is leaving its place from one place and going to the another place no this doesn't mean reveal as in zal means not this because there is no sense that in this universe something we talk about which is you know uh, uh, you know which is super material that uh, is coming from one place and going to another place no what does it mean revelation or inzal or nuzul it means it, this holy quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this night of qadr he made this quran for we human being understandable we can ponder in quran we can understand this quran how because this quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which was in lawh e mahfuz he sent with supernatural power authority ruhul quds and that supernatural power authority he brought this uh this quran to the holy prophet who is the connecting link between you know uh, the decree of allah means who supernatural authority and to the natural authority means this materialistic world so angel Ar archangel jibril he brought this quran in a you can say in my word i'm just telling you in order to you can understand we can understand our youth they can understand in in a lower way in a lower grade and and brought it to the heart of holy prophet and then holy prophet brought it into the shape of words letters the letters those you know we speak the language we speak but quranic words are not our words not even words of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa ma yantiqu anil hawa in huwa illa wahyun yuha he does not speak unless he gets revelation he gets command from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so so holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam whatever words he brought why because we human being in this materialistic world we are familiar with letters and words so quran revealed in the form of letter and words in order to be under we can understand so this this process this process and this procedure of understanding quran is saying in anzalna we nuzul we 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 revealed this quran otherwise revelation means not that from one up to down or down to up and from one place to another place no everything fine ma tawallu fa thamma wajhullah wherever you go you will find the power of god here uh, waj means we cannot say allah has face so waj means the face no, the power of god the majesty of god fine ma tawallu everywhere wherever you go so quran is saying this night allah subhanahu wa taala is revealing and you see in arabic tanazzalul malaika tanazzalul malaika tawru here the verb has been used in in the form of present form means every time this revelation is continued because if we go in deep in the in the existence of this holy quran for the quran there is no past there is no present there is no future quran has only one time and that is always continue continue continuation means you can say present continuous tense istimrar tanazzalul malaikatu war ruh fiha bi izni rabbihim min kulli amr means this revelation is continue continue what is we require in this world to take this revelation of god a pure and suitable and you know uh, compatible heart pure suitable and compatible heart which can have this you know capability to take to receive the holy revelation in his heart so when holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was there allah subhanahu wa taala he sent and he appointed he as his messenger as his guide then he 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 received this message 
You know, Quran has two revelations. One is Dafi and and other is Tadriji. One is sudden and another is by you know time to time. So one time Quran revealed in the hearts of Allah, uh, hearts of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at a time sudden that we call Dafi, Nuzul Dafi. And then in 23 years of the time period, 13 years in Mecca and 10 years in Medina, this whole Quran revealed. And now you will see every each and every ayah has its reason of revelation. Why? Because we are living in this nature. So this Quran is going to give us message that whatever ayah you have is 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 going to be you know uh, relate uh, uh, you know it, it has a relation with with each and every incident of this world in order to you can understand that this ayah is not different this ayah is not a stranger whenever you speak when you whenever you recite quran as if you are talking with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so quran brothers and sisters we have to try to understand the reality of quran really what quran is so quran revelation is continued now Six Imam has said that this ayah, Tanazul Malaika to Warum, Warum Fiha Beid Mira Behim in Kuliamr, is the best ayah to prove the presence of our 12th Imam. Why? Because if there is no Hujja, if there is no proof of God, then the revelation is coming in Nanzalahu, Filaylatil Qadr. When this revelation is coming in the night of Qadr, who is taking? Who is getting? I, you, we do not exist. We do not, you know, in this in this wadi, in this field, we are nothing. We are very, very, you can say, insignificant in comparison to Awliya Allah. So there must be a Awliya Allah. There must, must be a divine personality who would have this ability to receive this message. And that is why. So our 12th Imam is a receptor. He is receiving Quran from Angel Jibreel in this night in order to, you know, uh, give us this message. Now, my, my words, I'm slowly, slowly going to close. Our intention is not that, but to have a long speech tonight, a lecture. And I have selected uh, intentionally to speak in in English, in order to our youth, our children, they can understand easily. While I know my English is not that much too strong, but I am trying to give a message, whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me this, you know, capacity. Uh, please recite Salat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. So Imam alayhi salam is gaining this revelation in this night, for sure, for sure. Now, what is our duty? Because Imam is present here. Imam is present and we are also present. So, how we can, uh, how we can make connection with Imam? How we can make connection with Imam? If you go and talk with ulama, they say that uh, how you can make a connection that we say, uh, you know, sometimes uh, uh, Faraj of Imam Zaman a.s. Faraj, what does Faraj mean? Laylatul Qadr is the night where which give us to this opportunity. Laylatul Qadr is a night which gives us this opportunity, this potential that by purifying our soul with the help of du'as, with the help of uh, you know munajat with the help of istighfar, with the help of our cry tears, when our heart is clean, now we get this potential to become a pure, then we can be a closer, closer and closer to our present Imam. So when we become closer to our present Imam, that, which is, the, that is the forage. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, uh, give all of us this opportunity. When imagine, when this, potential which we are talking if this potential comes in each and every heart in normal days that would be the day when our imam will reappear inshallah recite salat please allah salli ala muhammad wa ala muhammad
Why? Because our Imam is waiting. So our Imam, imam is looking at us. He can look because he is getting all our, our decree and affairs from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he is going to give us our, 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 our destiny. He is going to give us for the whole year. He is going to distribute. And not only that, our amal, our deeds of whole year is going to be present, presented to him also. So both sides, we should be very, very careful. Our amal is going to Imam Zaman. And the new, you know, new year, and that is why, new year, I remember one thing. That is why, according to ulama and according to the uh, devotees of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and salike khuda, salike Allah, the, their new year starts from month of Ramadan. Look, we, I have, we have many new year. If you go ask in India, they have their regional new year. You go to China, they have their new regional new year. If you go to Iran, Noros, they have the regional their new year. Then, uh, then Arab Arabian calendar Muharram is the year starts from Muharram. Uh, okay, due to uh, the uh, Shahadat of Abu Abdullah Abu Abdullah we do not you know celebrate this new year, but Muharram starts. If you come to the Christianity, you will see New Year start from January. So each and every culture and farhang and creed, they have different New Year. The New Year of Salike Khuda, the spiritual people, they want spirituality in their life, is Holy Month of Ramadan. And that is why our, our deeds is going to be uh, presented to Imam and our Amal is going to be presented to Imam and our decree and our destiny is going to be, uh, you know, given us in this month of Ramadan. So brothers and sisters, these nights are very, very important nights. Very, very important nights. This is not joking. No way. Complete. We have to rely on this few hours of night we have. We have to focus that what we can do to get a close relationship with our imam you know like uh, celebrities like big personalities ministers i don't know prime ministers and presidents you know they have a very special security system one security system is very close which leaves them 24 7. another security system when they go to outside another is i, I like that imam zaman al -Islam, when he was in in the minor occultation, he had only four nawab -e arba And those four, four uh, deputies of Imam, they were having close, you know, direct relation with the Imam. And those deputies, they were coming to some authorities and some authorities also they were going to people and receiving their letters and nuzur, nuzurat and, and all, all these things. And it was going to Imam. Same way in the major occultation, Ghaibate, Kobra, again, Imam has, you know, uh, his uh, uh, close relative, close relations, close companions, and little bit far, and then far, and then farther, and then open. So Imam has very four, four, you know, deputies in first rank, then seven, then, uh, let's say, I don't know, I forgot some number, 18 or, and then 360, and then, may, you know, common. So now, which group we want to be in Imam's army, in Imam's commandership? It depends on our own. Because everything in this world is depending on our amal, in our, on, our, on our actions. If we action, have actions, we have deeds, then we can achieve. We can achieve. Because this dunya is for to achievement. dunya wa madharakul akhra. It is not like that we are very, we are living in Canada and those people, they are living very close to Haram Shrine of Imam Hussain Islam, or in Mecca, they only there have this capacity to become closer to Imam or those people, they are living in Iran, in Qum. No, anywhere, anywhere, any person can take this uh, opportunity in this night especially. Uh, I want to close uh, with this dua that uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really 
he has given big opportunity this life to dark to understand uh, this night of kab so oh my god oh my allah if you have taken our hands up to this now give us this opportunity also to we can understand this night and and we become a closer companion of our imam and your last hujjah may allah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our sins before we enter in the night of qadr so when we enter with purity with pureness with pure heart and that is why whatever we have in our hands we have garages we have bogs kina nifaq whatsoever we have these impurities we have to remove here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to help us no this is in our hands this is in our hands but what in in the hands of allah everything is hands of allah but he has given he wants that we have to go one step so brother and sister first of all we have to remove ourselves we have to purify ourselves then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will broaden he will strengthen our heart to get this holy message and to get this the pure and the spiritual companionship of uh, our our imam of time may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all marhumi i request once again please recite surah al mubarakah fatiha and surah al ikhlas for marhum mohammed fayyaz kanani marhum hussein panju and family marhum zahir pyarali chapsi and marhum aziz zahra khaja and all marhumi of your family بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد اوكي سو اور اعمال ويل ان شاء الله ستارت ات 10 Yes, ten more than. Yeah. So, anything you want to say? Otherwise, we say Khuda Hafiz and close. Inshallah, we'll have twenty reciters for Jushan Ekabir. So, I hope everybody will be joining. Okay. Inshallah. 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 Huge night. Inshallah. 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 Inshallah